can host private? You good, nice. Now, can we host private with the, with the mod on? So you can play Eagle Rising multiplayer. What's up, Rude? How's it going? I guess it's uh, by something. It's a dev mod, fuck. Uh, well. I mean, it's gonna come to the public version at some point. Or come to the public. I hope so, at least. I should have installed the RTS camera mod that did download it. So this army is almost done. Install the RTS camera mod and the enhanced battle test so we can actually like play the sieges I want to do. Hopefully, see them just getting shot at. I guess the solution would be a whole lot of cavalrymen to chase them down. Okay, I'm not gonna watch this. They turned around, turned their backs to the fucking archers. Yeah, that's smart. So many prisoners, man. So anyone lords as prisoners? Okay, we're gonna disband the army, let them like recruit a little bit. Seven lords as prisoners. <laughs> sure, get 15 no bar console consoles, they're pretty good. Let's see, bow troops in your party gain one extra arrow per quiver. You can now use all bows on horseback. Hmm. I don't think there's actually a bow we can get. Uh, 
uh, like above 40 like faction i think this is an 81 noble bow well, let's upgrade to it anyway get these as well nah or yeah let's upgrade the arrows as well I guess we have to go for the latest version of the mod I, g I prefer 1.7.1 well, what do we actually get in the, the latest version of the game actually? did they did they fix the sieges because that's the only thing that fucking annoys me to this day Cornelia Castle is actually besieged again. I don't think we can get there in time. We want to go recruit a couple more troops. Let's see where their strength is at. Ooh, yeah, look at that. We fucked them up real good. Skill point two, I guess two handed. Wrap downs and recruit a little bit more. Yeah, but if if you still play multiplayer online. Or Battlelord Online, we're still outclassed by everyone else who has all the stuff. Okay, looks like they decided not to besiege that. Told them to not attack anything, and they still do it. Yeah, I think they're, they're almost gonna be almost gonna be pieced out. Oh, by default. Okay, they're besieging Mor Morania Castle. Let me see if I can sit in there and get them to actually besiege it or get a defensive siege battle. Yeah, request entry to the castle. Now that look at that, they fucked right off. I mean the forum thread. Yeah, look at look at look 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 look. Okay, so we do know they're gonna besiege this. Maybe not. Oh, uh, they're good. Are they gonna make up their mind? Yeah, look at him, it's only 315 troops. I don't think that's enough. I think that city has more garrison. Yeah, they can't make up their mind what they're gonna do. Okay, I think this guy has a full party. Yeah, 180. If you go for them now, they're just gonna enter the city. I don't wanna fight him in the city though. I guess it could be. No, never mind, that's gonna. Eh, we can just declare war on him again. <laughs> I 
do all the di that bypasses the non-aggression pact. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those guys can't take that on on their own. Yeah, I called them in to join you, join us. Okay, this guy, she's gonna get wrecked wherever she is. Is being attacked. Oh, it's a river crossing battle. This is gonna be, gonna be good if we we make them cross the river. It's gonna slow them down a lot. on the co-op mod. Ooh, nice. What? But what? <laughs> looks like uh, looks like they're going to make us cross the river. to your hardware well I think it only taxes the host but then I got a pretty decent PC we should be good then again we why would we want more than eight people I think four is way more than enough for co-op like so each one of us can actually control a separate group in, in the fight
Okay, getting stuck among, amongst the archers there is not the best of ideas. I mean, so the players can join now. By the way, once the first version of releases, all the quests will be disabled. What do you mean? What, the quests you get in towns and villages? big of a deal I guess the only problem is it's gonna take a lot longer to actually level up and get renown and money at the beginning moving compatible with native That's understandable. You could probably launch it with some other mod, but there's no guarantee it's gonna work. Unfortunately for them, their reinforcements spawned all the way over there. Fun. How's it going?
I have yet to see one of our cavalry guys actually hit something with the Yari. Long distance. Four dead on our side. Oh, we have a traitor. Look at that. Look at him. His whole clan rebelled, apparently. No, they're only mercenaries, apparently. Hail to the king, baby. Oh, Jesus Christ. Who is it this time? Is it Sammy? Have we been graced by Santa Sammy again? Probably. Thanks for the 50 euro. Too generous, man. And looks like we can do Mountain Blade Cop. Well, we're gonna be able to do Mountain Blade Cop once the mod is actually released. Oh, 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 indeed. Yeah, Hunter here says uh, he read somewhere, well, on the mod forums, that the co-op mod is going to be a, up to eight players. And I'm thinking we do, like, four players. So, like, one can control the infantry, the other archers, the third one can control cav, and the fourth one can control uh, skirmisher cav, and stuff like that. We can, like... Everyone can control a little bit of the army, or we can like split off the infantry into the ones with shields and ones with polar arms, and you know, all that shit, basically. And it has a recommendation of it. Well, can those eight players actually roam around the map on their own? Like, so everyone can recruit troops of their own, then join in a battle, or like be in an army, like army like this, I mean. Okay, we're gonna... She's not even on the list. She got wrecked. Let's see. Yeah, the mod can handle it. Well, the uh, the question is gonna be, uh, can the P my PC handle it? If not, we are gonna need Sammy to host, I guess. <laughs> Probably. Hey, look at that. She, she got wrecked by something somewhere let's besiege this I did say I'm gonna take this well I got the third 700 X for the CPU at 3070 32 gigabytes RAM 100 download 40 upload speed so we should be fine Oh, she's not dead. She ran out of food, so everyone was, like, wounded. Yeah, so we can have a thousand versus thousand, with uh, you being the only one who has above 60 FPS, and every one of us has, like, 20. <laughs> As our PCs can't handle it. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. And I did download the RTS camera mod, but I forgot to install it. Because yesterday, yesterday was fun. I'm only gonna drink a few beers, then I proceed to drink tea, three beers of, of one deciliter of vodka. A couple of, uh, like, uh, beers with uh, fruit in them, if you know what I mean. 2% alcohol, the fruity ones. Are these guys actually gonna manage to besiege that? That's what I'm guessing now. Your laptop in handle? Oh god, you have a laptop. You place games on the laptop, man. 
Oh, that's fun. That one guy has, like, uh, lured the army away. Too bad we're not going to be able to destroy the walls until they get back. Oh, and Sammy, we can do... We can do the Adevidate Impera campaign, co-op campaign. You as, uh, I don't know, Syracuse or Epirus. Me as Macedon or something like that. Are you going to attack? Come on. You know you want to. Okay, never mind. Their army is disbanding. And so will mine if I'm not paying attention. But we did bring their strength, uh, their back up again. Yeah, we, I need. I actually need to take their territory before before they like lose total strength. Otherwise, they're just gonna be able to recruit more and more. How's this going actually? I need to check that more often. We might get another clan to join us in the abdication. Then we can force it. Destroy that catapult. Okay, the walls are down. A thousand versus a thousand, Jesus. Yeah, Sultan, just back in time for a siege battle. Okay, there's one entrance there, one there, good. Let's keep the infantry, like, here, for now. Let's see where we can place the archers. We're preparing for courting tomorrow. What are you gonna code? A game? <laughs> Guess who's back again? Hunter. Hunter, Hunter. Okay, let's place them. I can't see shit. out the co-op mod so you can actually download it that's good all oh, right this is one where we need to oh shit all right yeah yeah this is the one where we need to go up there and kill the archers read the editing <laughs> oh, okay. how come is that coding then it's really editing Bring these guys like closer a little bit. would be too easy well yeah i guess that would be a problem but the hunter did say they're gonna like remove the quests so it might take might like make it a bit harder in the beginning at least looks you know modeling first well if you can do both if you know how to code and model you're pretty well off at this point
I'm not gonna be able to squeeze by. Nope, no way. Trying to make your own mod in the future. Uh, well, I guess you can join one of the modders, modder teams already, so you can like get some experience and whatnot, and get some connections, so some people can help you out in modeling or scripting or something like that. Uh, usually the best idea like get into the modding scene so you have some help if you need to if you don't if you like um not stand something we can actually it looks like we can squeeze through here warband modding team oh which mod which mod for warband was it prophecy of pandor <laughs> Shot in the ass. Do they need a 3D modeler? Let's see. We're actually learning to 3D model so we can help out. I don't think you can get into the mod uh, if you like donate like two dollars to the Eagle Rising team or the uh, modeler mo uh, the guy who models the skins for that you can hop into his you know inner workings and see what he does could just sit here and shoot them well, I'm getting shot from they can hit me from there No fucking way, man. I'm gonna move my infantry in. Just wanna... These are infantry as well. I'm getting shot from somewhere again. I wanna do some sneaky actions. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Ignore me. few burn lord models so i'm sure you can make well definitely if you made models for this you can make uh, ones for warband they're much simpler to make or well, should be anyway i guess you can uh, get uh, help me mod out the prophecy of rome mod i made I mean, I just, uh, I just uh, added the, the troop values and the, like, equipment they use and the names. I just, uh, I don't know how to, like, actually implement the Roman armor from other mods. Well, actually, I do need to ask permission to use the models right first. <laughs> I'll just steal them. Those guys are knocked out, more or less. 
Only one defender left. I got 18 kills. Not bad. Oh, those are my guys. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, I assume so. It's only like devs only. Maybe you can like see if you can pay for a cost, or like a you know to be to get another server launched or something. It is intensive though because you can have up to a thousand players on the server. Like Jesus Christ, a thousand players in Mountain Blade. That's a bit over the top. It's like it's plants. Okay, I guess there's an enemy inside of here since the catapult is throwing rocks. This way. Or not. Am I missing something? I guess that's where it is. Russia, Asia, EU, and America. Yeah, I know. But like, maybe you can pay him in, uh, or tell him to like get another server in or something like that. One of the enemies fell in between the gates so we can get him. Nice. Hmm. But if the co-op mod like releases, can we actually fight against each other in that? Because that will like give us a, like a bit, a little bit more of a challenge. Because otherwise, um, you know, the piece, you know, AI intelligence, artificial intelligence, ain't that good? They're a bit too easy to beat, I'd say. Like Sammy said, but uh, like the problem with that, the AI is always gonna be stupid once you actually figure out how to beat them easily. So like, um, there's not much we can do about that, or the mothers can do about that. Guess they can make the AI use your use more cheats. That would work. Oh look at that! I'm on the list. I don't want it though. Shit. Uh, do I have anyone in the party who's actually a good uh, governor? What impulse by me there? Um, let me see. I might have. S okay, that's not good. I can't just... Uh, right, let me dump the prisoners in here. Then we're gonna give it away. <laughs> Try out the... Do I need to call a mod dev team? They're trying their recruiting campaign. Uh, well, I guess uh, the, the, they would need like scripters more than modelers. At that point. But I'd have to assume this is a mercenary. I want to sign governor or uh, how do we do that again? Thieves? A giveaway. Oh look at that, that guy actually joined oh. I can't tell if that's our clan or not. Wait a minute, did the game actually delete the, f 
What the? Abdication, man. Yeah, I did say we're gonna like take this. I think I think M Melion Castle is next then. Let's let a couple of these guys go. Actually, no, can she come with me? You have a decent amount of troops. Oh, they're getting wrecked. That's what's happening. Six months out. Uh, well, like I said, we're gonna need to wait another year or two before we get any decent mods out. Like the big, big mods, like like bet. Well, we do have Eagle Rising, I guess you can say. Yeah, I don't want them to leave the settlement before we besiege it. Or we can just uh, do that, wait for one of the guys to actually lure them in. The chance it would be faster. Well, I'm, well I mean, I'm not, I'm not in a hurry, to be honest. There's lots of mods to check out and there's fun stuff to do. As is. Actually, let's reset deployment. Take over command. This is fucking fairly flat, considering where we are. Stand up, Low, a lot of our army is actually like pretty sh like low level level trash unfortunately Archers, move. Archers. Look at that, we actually outnumbered the enemy for once. On the battlefield, that is. I mean, did, did this actually show up? I wasn't paying attention. That's fucking loose formation. Okay. I guess you have to do this. That's fucking line formation game. What the hell's happening? Okay, now they're in loose formation. I'm at you this time. What do you mean? What the donation? Easy enough way to check. Yeah, it's it's not Sammy. It's Santa Sammy. <laughs> oh no, I, I, I like uh, reset the alert. I didn't like... Um, there wasn't another donation. I just reset it. Let's to see if it shows up. Wasn't another one. Oh, 
there is another one, uh, the Streamlabs boss is gonna say it. Follow up their ass. Jesus, what? It's Jesus. Was that all their reinforcements? Well, except the. No, never mind, there's more up there. When I go up to the enemy and just start slaying them like this, you kind of feel like one you. Except when you're getting shot all the time. Yes, yes, Sammy. Hopefully the, the work shit is gonna slow down a little bit so you can relax a bit more. But I guess uh, it's a big deal everywhere now since the prices are going up and all that shit. And the cost of materials is going up as well. I made their uh, archers actually flee. Oh, they got more reinforcements coming in. Never mind. That's how you avoid spears. I do love how the infantry just boxed. Oh no, never mind. Let's see. It's the archers. So the infantry just boxed up instead of spreading out. I guess we're gonna get to live since I wasted all my ammunition. Yeah, sure, Hunter. You can always rewind or wait like three months until this episode comes out on YouTube. <laughs> I think I have videos to the like middle of January, or June, scheduled up. It's gonna take a while here until everything comes out. Seven deaths on our side. Only fifty three experience for the troops. <laughs> Get them out of the city there. 
then besiege it if I can actually maneuver around yes I can yeah let's take that in this case like take let, let's take this area even though that's gonna put us into contact with Sturgia so that's not that good but uh, what can you do would be nice if they actually okay yeah they are at war with Sturgia so we might have a little bit of support from the other factions me 35 it looks like the Valandians and the Batanians might declare war on them. Or... What? Apparently they can go to war with factions that don't exist. Makes sense. Hopefully we can we can lure enough of them here to attack us. Only 288 defenders in there. Nice. That's gonna be easy. Hopefully I can lure them over here so they don't attack the one of the castles over there. I don't think I have time to get back there. Hunter is back. gather enough troops to attack me here come on guys it would be cool if you can actually see the AI like rush into a castle or rush into or break into a siege but they defend it from the inside that would be pretty cool to see because a lot of these guys actually have a lot of tactics and leadership skills, so they might be able to get in there without losing too much. So it looks... Yeah, it definitely seems like there's a lot less castle types than I remembered being there. Which is a bit weird. I think there was a lot like more differences before. Might be Might be tripping a little bit though. Quickly, get off the horse. Don't get shot. enemies coming at us pretty soon here. Yeah. Which one? The multiplayer one? 
How the hell do those guys have range on me? Come on, game. That's pretty, pretty far away. Staying outside of here is not the best way it is. Oh shit. That's what I mean by having a lengthier weapon. You can't actually swing it inside. Where the f what? Don't tell me I'm getting shot from out there. Okay, this wasn't the smartest of ideas. As per usual. Yeah, I did play a vanilla multiplayer a little bit. I do like the squad version. Yeah, I got the aimbot. Really? I mean, they got the aimbot in all of these. I did play, I do like the squad version of the game, where you control a bunch of like archers or infantry or, or cavalry. That one's pretty good. Uh, and I do like the uh, 5 on 5 or 4 versus 4. Yeah, maybe, maybe some other time. And I think you need to be at on the late uh, to play the multiplayer. I think you need to be on the latest version of the game, which I'm not. So I can't really play the multiplayer because I'm still on version 1.7.0. So I'm gonna have to update. So once I finish this mod, if the other mod is updated, I can do it then. No, I'm not going to claim it for myself. Of course, we can't dump any prisoners in there. Why would we? Mercenary swordsman. Nope. And the problem is, if I update the game, then I can't play the mod. You understand that? I can't play the mods I have installed on this. That's the issue. Like, if I update the game, all of these mods are gonna break. None of them are gonna work. So I can't update until I finish the playthrough. Oh, you fool! Why would you do that? I can revert it back, but every time I do that, it's gonna take a long-ass time, and I don't wanna mess, uh, I don't wanna mess with mods breaking. You never know what's gonna happen. Okay, let's see, I did say we're gonna take Me Melion Castle uh, next. Me Lion Castle. He Lion, Me Lion Castle out next. Would be good to let some of these go so they can replenish. Grab her. 